What's up, guys? Sorry about that. Um, hey, clumsy motherfuckers. You guys probably can tell by now. But today's video, we're bringing something back that we used to do all the time. Uh, we are bringing back the boot reviews. So the, the boots we're reviewing today are my curtain work boots that I wear to work. They are uh, the Airy uh, Chelsea's. Oh, let me see. There we go. These are the Airy Chelsea. Uh, stiltos and uh well today we're gonna talk about them so i bought these boots exactly a year ago today um is when i ordered them and it took about two weeks to get in a couple weeks to get in because they're on back order but they got in and uh well i didn't wear them for the first couple weeks because i had to leave to go on family emergency so i was gone for about two weeks and then Came back, finally was able to wear them. And well, they've held up pretty good. Uh, here's what the sole looks like after a year of wearing them. Um, for the most part, held up pretty good. And the uh, flooring where I work at, floor is pretty rough on boots. I had a pair of Danners that I loved a lot because they were really comfortable. It was almost like wearing a shoe and a boot together. They weren't still toe though, they were just normal toe. Uh, they kind of looked at combat boots. And I loved them because they're waterproof. And they're pretty comfortable. But those boots, they got torn up within like three months. I mean, you wearing them. Freaking this entire sole. Like this back part was completely chewed up. I had a hole. Like this part of the boot and the sole. Upper and the sole of the boot were separating. I had a hole right in the toe. It was bad. Um, so I ordered these Ariats. Um, that's why I wear. When I'm not at work, the boots I normally wear on an everyday basis are Ariats. I love them. They're comfortable. So I just got me these area, these areas. I do have another pair of the Sierras that are just regular toe that I already had done a review on like a year ago. So these, boot, these boots, they're not waterproof, but they've kept my feet pretty dry though. Um, and they've kept my feet pretty warm because I live in Alaska and it gets about 20 below, 30 below in the winter, sometimes 40 below. And very rarely it gets 50 below. So it gets pretty cold here in the winter. And these boots have kept my feet warm. Now granted, I do wear wool socks when it gets that cold. But these boots keep my feet pretty warm. My feet don't overheat in them either, which is an issue a lot of other people have with a lot of other boots. It, they just insulate your feet to the point where it just your feet sweat and then it's just very uncomfortable. These boots are very ventilated. They keep my feet pretty ventilated. My feet don't sweat and they don't freeze either. So I like it. The traction on them is pretty good for the most part. I do slip occasionally when the floor is a little wet. And uh, sometimes I do slip. If I step here first, I slide. But other than that, they, they've been pretty good. Uh, protect my toe. Um, you guys see here, it's all chewed up, you know. And on the side as well. Uh, the other boots are <laughs> about the same, honestly. Except uh, it has more taken out at the corner of the toe. And I don't know if the camera could pick that up. But uh, yeah, these boots have been pretty comfortable. Uh, the reason why I got black and not brown is because with my job, I work in the food service industry. So I have to wear black. It's kind of part of our uh, dress code for work. So I have to wear black. And so uh, the steel toe, no one really needs steel toe bar work, but I broke my toe and my foot. About three years ago and since then i've always just wanted something still toe because i'm afraid of breaking it again and being out of work so still toe to protect my foot um these are slip resistant and they, they for the most part they are except if you're on polished ice and yeah most things you're not gonna have much traction on polished ice but other than that these boots have been phenomenal uh are these the best work boots out there no they're not but for the money, they are. And I paid about $175 for these. So for $175 worth of work boot, they're definitely worth every penny of it. Um, I'll probably get many years out of these, probably another five, six, seven years out of these. I don't abuse them because my type of job isn't, I'm, I'm more take care of people, make sure I get the food that they're supposed to get and uh, take trash out and wash dishes. That's pretty much what I do for my, my job right now. Um, in the future, I will be getting another job once I uh, go through trade school. Uh, 
which is I'm about to start here soon. So excited for that. Uh, stay tuned. There will be a video about that as well. So you guys want to know exactly what trade I'm going into. I'm going to doing a whole video on that probably later this week. But anyways, um, Ariat boots. I love Ariat boots. I have several pairs of them. I have an, like three other work boot Ariats. Um, so I have another steel toe pair that have the, that's like the army camo, desert camo with the American flag on there. I have those and I use those when I do, uh, shit around the house if i'm plowing shoveling the driveway or if it's like super cold out i'll throw those boots on because they're bigger i can actually put wool socks on in those and uh those are pretty damn good too i've had those for about four years now those have held up beautifully and then i have a pair of uh another pair of sierras they're not still tell they're brown i did a video on those a while ago those had held up for the most part Except they don't have the best traction in the cold. Like when it gets like super cold out and the soles get super cold and hard, there's no traction. I'm sliding everywhere. These though, these get super cold. I still have decent traction. It's so one thing I like the most about these. Um, also, can't go wrong with them being my school colors. Because my school colors are red and black. So that's pretty cool. <coughs> so... Yeah, these boots definitely recommend if you are looking for a pair of work boots and you don't have 400 500 600 dollars to spend on a pair of work boots definitely check these out i got these straight from Ariat. i didn't go to boot barn you can go to boot barn boot barn does have boots there um i got mine from area straight went went straight to area i got these and then i got a pair of chelsea's comp toes I got those initially because those are waterproof and I was strictly just washing dishes. So I needed something that was gonna keep my feet dry. And those boots are waterproof. They're comp toe, they have way better traction and wet surfaces than these boots do. Those boots are still at work, I have them in my work locker. But when I'm not washing dishes and I'm just cleaning, cleaning the kitchen or I'm serving people, I wear these. I definitely recommend them. Um, if I had to rate them out of 10, definitely an 8 out of 10. And the only reason why I wouldn't rate them a 10 out of 10 is uh, the fact that these boots do slip when there's a little bit of moisture. Uh, they kind of feel a little, you know, unstable. That's it. Other than that, they're a really good boot. I definitely do recommend these. Uh, the still toe's pretty good at protecting my top, actually, uh, believe it or not. Kick this into a brick wall many times, and uh, it's about as scratched up as the toe is. Uh, these boots have held up phenomenally well, a lot better than my, uh, a lot better than my, um, fuck, my Danners. Um, I already did a video, so if you want to watch the video of the Danners, I did a video showing you how messed up they were. So uh, it's probably one of, like, one of my very first videos I did on this channel. <coughs> probably about a year and a half ago I did that video so yeah I definitely recommend watching it also guys if there's another pair of boots you want me to review or if you guys want me to do my entire boot collection because there's some boots I have that have not shown on the channel yet so if you guys want to see those boots let me know in the comments below I will more than be more than glad to uh, show you those boots um, I do have a pair of snake skins that are like my dress boot that I'll show you guys if you guys want to see them. Uh, really nice, really, really nice boots. Um, also, if you haven't already, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. We're at 122 subs right now. We're trying to get to 1,000 by the end of the year. It's a very bold goal, but you know, I have very strict expectations of myself, very high expectations of myself, and this is one of them. So if you haven't already, um, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Also, view. I uh, like to laugh your ass off and want to watch some comedy skits. Go follow me on TikTok, same as my YouTube channel. I upload skits there. Um, I will start, maybe start uploading the skits here um, if YouTube doesn't freak out when I upload them because the last few times they've uh, taken my, my skits down. Uh, but we'll see. I'll try to upload another one to see how it goes. But anyways, guys, uh, 
hope you guys have a good afternoon. I'm gonna go get this video uh, edited and I'm gonna go get my shit ready for work. Um, also, um, I got some breaking news for you guys. Uh, stay tuned and uh, you guys will find out soon what the news is.